It's almost been a year since K-pop star Kuara was found dead in her home on November 24, 2019. But even after her passing, there's been a series of unfortunate events that are making it difficult for the late singer to rest in peace. On October 12, Dispatch reported that a safe was stolen from Kuara's home, and the culprit could be someone she knew. Although the news came out last week, the crime actually took place in January, only a few months after Hara's death. In the report, Hara's brother said he believes that the culprit was familiar with the house, as the CCTV footage showed that he seemed to be aware of the layout of the house, plus details like connecting doors that were kept unlocked. He said the intruder also knew that the safe was kept inside the dressing room. Hara's friend, who's only identified as K, said, "I noticed that the safe had gone missing back in April, and officially filed a police report in May." Unfortunately, there hasn't been much progress made on this case due to the lack of concrete evidence about the intruder. Hada's family is now asking for any tips or possible leads to help with the investigation. Even before the burglary, Hada's family was already dealing with a lot of drama from her biological mother, demanding her share of Hada's property. This sparked a lot of controversy because the mother had basically walked out on her children 20 years ago when Hada and her brother were only in elementary school. So Hada's brother ended up filing a lawsuit against their mother and explained that she had abandoned them as children and had given up her parental rights and custody in 2006. He said it doesn't make sense for her to show up at Hada's funeral asking for her rights as a parent. The lawsuit is still ongoing. But there was some closure in the case involving Hara's ex-boyfriend Choi Jong-bum, who was sent to trial for physically assaulting her and also blackmailing her with a sex tape. On October 15, the Supreme Court announced its final decision to uphold Choi's prison term of one year. He was found guilty of all charges, including physical assault, blackmail, and property damage, but was not convicted of non-consensual filming of body parts, as this was hard to prove beyond a reasonable doubt. A bittersweet moment for the late star, who's still facing an endless amount of hurdles even after her passing. Only time will tell if Kuhara will get the justice she deserves.